right, this is gonna be a position just to engage some muscle control of the forearm. I wanna to try to do it in a way that I don't get a lot of pain in my elbow, if that's the reason that I'm doing the exercise in the first place. So usually less painful is gonna be if my elbow is more bent. So this could be just sitting next to a table. I like to do this with an open hand. A lot of the times when we're doing stuff with our wrist and forearm and hand, we're doing a lot of gripping. So I tend to start with an open hand because we're not usually doing that, right? So open hand, fingers spread. All I'm gonna do here is lightly apply pressure to the back of my hand to see if I can feel like I'm engaging a little bit of tension here without a lot of pain that builds up in the outside of my elbow. I'm gonna hold for three to five seconds and then relax. And usually I'm gonna alternate between the pressure on the back of my hand and the pressure on the palm of my hand. So same thing here, three to five seconds. And I'm usually just gonna alternate between the two. Light pressure, trying to feel a little bit of muscle control here if it hurts, I'm either going to push less hard, right? Or I might play around with the position of my elbow. I might try and bend it more. Now, ultimately, if this is going fine, typically I'll put a little bit of added tension on structures with my arm a little bit more extended. It's not always the case. So if elbow bent is fine, I may progress to a little bit more of elbow straight. I just want to watch that I'm trying to isolate my forearm and not create a lot of tension in my shoulder. So it's nice to have something my arm's resting on. So if anything, I can pull my shoulder down. And I'm just going five seconds, five seconds. Very easy, isolated, activating muscles in the forearm.